Let's get right to the point. Let's just answer the number one question that's on every aspiring writer's mind. How long before I make my first million? And hey, I'm not here to tell you that's not gonna happen. I'm here to tell you that you can make money as a writer and give you a few ways to get on the right track. So stay tuned, because this week on Lulu University, we're making books and we're making bank. Cha-ching! real money with your book. Whether you're a fiction author, a nonfiction author, an entrepreneur, an educator, historian, business professional, or any other profession that lends itself to making a book, which we here at Lulu think is most of them. The point is, you can make supplemental or even primary income from your book. The Tilt even recently put out a study ranking books as number three in a list of top money-making methods for full-time entrepreneurs. But what's your book? The old adage is, write what you know. <laughs> but if you're drawing a blank there, think about what people come and ask you about or get your advice on regularly. If nothing's coming to mind even then, then what interests you outside of your nine to five? That could be a great place to start. So I use this example all the time, but it's because it's a great one. So Scarred for Life is one of our favorite books at Lulu, and the authors Stephen Brotherstone and Dave Lawrence wanted to read a book about the horrors of the stuff they were shown on TV growing up in the UK in the 60s. So as they went on their search, they couldn't find anything. It wasn't there. I guess everyone was too afraid, <laughs> too scarred, if you will, to write that book. So they wrote it. They created the content that they wanted to see, and now they're working on the third installment of that book. They are going on speaking tours and interviews all across the UK, and they even do live shows. So from that one idea of creating what they wanted to see, they've created a whole platform for themselves. So if you're not sure what to write, think about what you would like to read, see if it's out there, and if it's not, create it. I'd also like to note that some of our favorite projects here at Lulu don't even have that many words. Shocking, I know. But low and no content projects like notebooks, journals, calendars, coloring books, all of those can be great ways to diversify your revenue and add a book to the lineup to help you earn more revenue. Bonus, Lulu makes it even easier by providing free templates for lined, dotted, and grid notebooks, as well as planner and calendar interiors you can download, slap a cover on, and by that I mean work very hard to make something nice and enticing and then start selling. Regardless of what you make, be sure to take the time to make it worth buying. So invest in editors, formatters, beta readers, cover designers, whatever you need to make the best book possible. And be sure to order a proof copy. Basically, you just wanna take the time to invest in yourself so others will wanna invest in you too. A little pro tip here, once you've decided what you want to create, go to lulu.com slash pricing so you can get the per unit cost of your book and figure out what you need to sell it for to hit your revenue goals. The more places your book is, the more places you can make money. Whenever I first started at Lulu, people would always ask me, should I go with Amazon or should I use Lulu? And our answer has always been, do both. You don't have to choose. In fact, go wide. Throw in a direct sales option, sell at in-person events, sell through your social media channels. Wherever your readers are, you should be there too. When I say go wide, I mean put your book in every conceivable place that your readers may stumble upon. But I would also say go wide in formats too. So make a paperback, make a hardcover, ebook, and audiobook version. People love options. At Lulu, we offer three different ways for you to sell your books. You can sell through the Lulu Bookstore, connect to over 40,000 retailers through global distribution, including Ingram, Amazon, and Barnes & Noble, or sell through Lulu Direct, which integrates with Shopify and WooCommerce for WordPress, so you can sell your books directly through your own website. You know the best way to sell more books? It's by writing more books! <laughs> so I know that might not be the most exciting news for you to hear, but if a reader comes across your third book and loves it, the chances that they'll go back and buy the first and second are pretty high, so keep writing. If cranking out a new book every year or every couple months doesn't sound specifically appealing to you, 
then doing something like a subscription service, a paid newsletter, or even serial fiction might do the trick. Be sure to check out our video on serialized fiction to learn more. Making money from your writing doesn't only come in the form of book sales. So I know that's great, that's always very exciting, but once you write a book, you are a subject matter expert on that thing. So looking for podcasts, conferences, events, interview opportunities can also help you leverage your book for opportunities to make money. A little pro tip here, before you approach any YouTube channels, podcasts, or interview opportunities, speaking opportunities, anything like that, be sure that you understand their audience so you can make this a mutually beneficial pitch and not just a thinly veiled way to sell more books. Uh, at least make it a thickly veiled way to sell more books. <laughs> the content you publish into a book may also be a great starting point for a YouTube channel, a podcast, a social media account, or email newsletter. Your book could also be used as a lead magnet for your business. Be sure to check out our video on 12 ways to make money with your book for more ideas. And there you have it. That's how you make money as a writer. Pretty simple, right? <laughs> let us know what worked for you in the comments below. Let us know what we missed. And let us know what you're gonna do with all that extra sweet, sweet cash. <laughs> hit like, hit subscribe. We'll see you next time.